What's up guys and welcome back to the Chaotic Battles channel. Today we've got a battle between me and Joshua. Sometimes he also goes by Uncle Sam. He is playing as the Army of the Valley, the Confederates. I am playing as the First Corps Army of the Potomac. Yankees. Uh, I fast forwarded through a lot of the artillery battle. Because uh, earlier I took my general scattered it along these lines and he moved his army up this way and then formed lines and that's when I formed mine on the ridge over here. So I didn't get up too far in artillery. But I think he felt like he had to attack, or maybe he could overwhelm me with the Army of the Valley, because the Army of the Valley is really strong. It's not an easy position to attack, though, either. I mean... Because all along where my men are, it's high ground and trees, so I'm getting defensive bonuses from both of those things. And the fact that I think almost all of my infantry protecting the cannon are elite infantry. From the Bucktails to the 14th Brooklyn and then the Iron Brigade holding the center. And then all my volunteer infantry are my flanking infantry. The beautiful part about where my ordnance guns are positioned is that every, I don't think I get any friendly fire this whole battle. You know, like all my shots just go right over the the, the line because the line is a little bit depressed. Their position on the slope is definitely favorable for me and being able to shoot at them. Granted, I'm not trying to shoot straight down, down the center, but because of that position, I'm able to shoot here, and I'm able to shoot over here on the flanks, and winning the flanks is very important, as well as holding the center. Now, sooner or later, when I feel like he's committed enough of his troops, I'm going to end up using all of those volunteers in this left wing here and sweep all the way around and over. But I'm going to wait until he starts to engage over here. probably had them ambitiously like this. Let's see, yep. I should have came out in a tight square, but then I'd, be, I'd run the risk of getting hit by a howitzer though. Or that ordnance gun. Alright, so. They're starting to move up over here a little bit. And now I'm starting to target their uh, infantry with all the cannons. And this is really good infantry. Every unit he has is a very good shooter and has high morale. The Army of the Valley is one of the strongest armies in the game on average. It, it, actually, it is the strongest uh, on average through the whole thing. Like, you average up all the accuracy. I think the Army of the Valley averages 24 accuracy. Like, all of their named units that you can only take two to three of, they're all they're a little bit more expensive, but they all have 24 accuracy and, like, nine morale, eight or nine morale. Even the volunteers are like, wherever they, let me see if he has any volunteers or not. He might not have even taken any volunteers. No, he didn't take any volunteers. So that means every unit in his army, with the exception of the skirmishers, has, actually no, they might even have that much accuracy too, has 24 accuracy. I think Gordon's might have 27. That has 30. Or 33, I think 30 actually. And that has 27.
Yeah, I don't think he has Terry's. Terry's is another good one. But his army is very good shooters. Now, granted, my Bucktails are better shooters. They have 27 accuracy. My Brooklyn Volunteers have 30 accuracy. And my Iron Brigade has 33 accuracy. But it, that's only 7 units in total. After that, all my Volunteers only have 15 accuracy. So I've become that. I've uh, started doing that flank now, that flanking motion, while still bombarding with artillery, trying to weaken it. Because, like I said, volunteer infantry is really kind of crappy. It's good for numbers and holding things in place. Like volunteers and trees are good; they can hold for a long time. And with the general, they actually can hold like a regular unit would, like a like a good named unit, or even can hold an elite unit in place if they're in the trees. But in open field, though, in one-on-one, -on -one, they get crushed. And are easy to route with artillery. So now I'm winning... Or no. Yeah, I'm winning on the balance of power now. I haven't really routed anything, but I think they're counting the unit count.
can just about see the whole battle from right here. Lines broke over here. That's a good fight right there, actually. Some big hit on my guys. This has been a massive artillery hit because there was so many guys getting up and getting knocked down, and now they're getting shot away while they run. And friendly fire, too. Oh, he's not even targeting. He's got fire at will on.
will the officer get out of there? Oh, he did, barely. An admirable attack. Looks like half the unit. That number is about to go down really quick. There we go. Now it's taken down. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. All right, guys, I'm going to take a look at the battlefield real quick now that we're back. This last charge just to get to this battery. The howitzer. The attack all along the flank. And the left. They were up 
Alright guys, thanks for watching.